everyone welcome back to my channel this is Renika from Zayazi Di Kimono today I'm just sitting here very casually on, on the couch because I kind of wanted to talk to you about something like I'm filming this on, on Tuesday so for me it's uh, yesterday but on Monday as, as usual I upload one um, ensemble that I wear either on myself or on my mannequin usually I take the time to do it um, it's nothing major or anything but yesterday I was kind of in a time crunch because I had to go to work so the whole ensemble was done in I think about 10 minutes including wrestling with the obi because I that one I've never worn myself and the pattern kind of confused me so looking at that ensemble it's not as if I'm ashamed it's not as if I'm disappointed in myself but I'm not really proud of that ensemble, the way it looks at least, in any way. At least it doesn't compare to the neatness of how I do the kitsuke on myself at least, or in general. Like it, everything, it, it just doesn't look good. Come to think of it, um, every time I've talked to people and whenever they asked me questions or whenever I just talked about it I mentioned that Kitsuke is an art that takes time now it just does, doesn't apply to learning how to do it but also just putting it on on yourself that is whether it's a mannequin like the one I have put on now or your own body so, I'll be I'll just keep it real. I've done um, things in a time crunch before. Sometimes they did indeed came out uh, come out good, but sometimes they don't. And I had a yeah, a little bit of a struggle with that uh, particular obi because the pattern is confusing me as I said. So I just want to put it out there that yes, it took does take time but you also need to take time to put it on in a way like it can't be rushed like the coordination itself yeah you can just pluck a few items from um, your ensemble and that will be fine but just let me show you what I mean This is why I usually have my mannequin um, standing. I have the, the curtains closed because I live in um, the town centre and I don't want to reveal where I live because right outside is actually the shopping street. So this is the ensemble itself. Like the colours, yeah, they're fine. The obiagi, um, they're a little bit of a mess, but it's mostly because the obi is like so tight that there's hardly any room behind it and especially these uh, Shibori Obiyage they're really um, bulky so this is what I mentioned about the, the Obi like the, the Heiko part is fine but I don't know which side is <laughs> supposed to go up let me just turn this one around Oof. There we go. Like as you can see, the <laughs> the backside is just like almost reversible when it comes to the to the design. So yeah, the skirt. Um, let's just not talk about that, especially in the back, because in the back it's way worse than in the front. And also the, oh, I'll show you. Like I know this is a major struggle with a lot of people including myself as well when I when I first started but it's also pretty askew but look at that I mean I have big hands for a female that is but even then this is twice the size as it should be not mentioning that it just does not sit flat in general, this ensemble just does not look good because I made the decision to be lazy and wait till the next morning. Like I mentioned, I 
it's not the first time I've done it, but in, even then, um, yeah, it shows that one definitely needs to take the time for these things. I mean, and it's not a really technically complicated ensemble. It's not like it needs any more um, pieces than it does usually. I mean, this, this is what I mentioned with the skirt that it's a lot worse in the back than it is in the front. Just coming back here. <laughs> what I wanted to say with this is um, everyone makes these uh, mistakes that they think it doesn't take as much time that it actually does to make it look good. I make these mistakes too. It's not as if I'm perfect or anything, I'm just a normal human being after all, just, you know, keeping it real, you know. So, just take the time, learn from my mistakes, that's why I'm basically uploading all these videos because I've made these mistakes and I want you to learn from them. It's so easy to make them, it's easy to remake them and yeah. Like the summary of this this video, I just wanted to put out there that uh, yeah, it just takes time and things can't be rushed. That's especially true uh, when you start out, but even after you've done it for a, f a few years and you know how to do things, like it still takes time to make everything look good, make everything um, sit right. Um, the right proportions, yeah, those will come after a while. It's okay if those don't happen immediately. But yeah, I think that's all I, I wanted to share on this topic, that is. Um, I wish you a very nice day and I hope to see you next time. Bye everyone. So quickly before I really go, I just wanted to show you how things look. Versus, well, 10 minutes rushed kit to get versus when I actually take the time and make everything look as how it's supposed to look. So this is before and this is the after. I think I'm clocking in at about 15 minutes now. So it shows that even if you take a couple more minutes this is non readjusted, like freshly dressed, non readjusted for pictures filming purposes. So, as you can see, the tag was a little bit um, askew, so I would have just tucked it a little bit more to the right before I usually would film or just take pictures. But other than that, you can actually see a massive difference and it took only five more minutes like yeah for sure um you can't really see because of the sleeve but yeah the the show is a little bit bulky the design is not really dead centered but other than that it looks a hell of a better than it did before when i was rushing through things so yeah with that, I will officially let you go, uh, guys. Um, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.